<laughs> Hello, ni hao, kia ora, konnichiwa, aloha, ola, bulvanaka, malulele, talofalawa. Welcome to another edition of the Sweat Daily Workout. Today is another Strong Plus workout. Strong Plus! Oh yeah! Okay, so it's out to get you nice and strong. If you are at home, if you're in the gym, um, if you're at work, whatever you, it's a really, uh, really nice workout for you to do because we just need one piece of equipment today. Dumbbell! If you have a dumbbell, you love this workout. If you have a kettlebell, you love this workout. All right. There are four movements to today's workout: the Turkish get-ups. There is burpees. What else? Dumbbell squats. Dumbbell squats and bent over row. Now I just testing you. I just testing okay. you. All to be done with one dumbbell, one heavy dumbbell. If you don't have a heavy dumbbell, you can choose a light dumbbell, but just do more reps or do more rounds, okay? So remember, it's a strong plus workout designed to get strength um, in your condition. All right, team. So first movement, Turkish get up. We will have a lie down on the floor. Cross our legs and uh, just enjoy the sun. No, one more night. Turkish get up. Now, I'm gonna be doing it with a uh, dumbbell. A uh, heavy dumbbell, this is 20 kilos. Uh, you can have something heavier. The youngins out there. Uh, Gabe is gonna uh, simulate my movements, but he's gonna do the part where, you know, perhaps you just don't have any equipment at home, so he's gonna do that. Uh, but when you're doing the, the part where you have no, no gear, uh, maybe just try to tense your, your muscles so that you can still feel like you're getting a good workout, okay? Um, so the third scale is great for um, for your overall uh, strength. So lots of core movement, lots of leg movement, uh, shoulder strength required. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna lie down <coughs> sideways, okay? Sideways, we're gonna grab the, the, the weight, dumbbell or kettlebell, and we're just gonna bring up to the center, okay? So, see the dumbbell is on, on top of my, my chest. Now I'm gonna push it, push it up. Once it's up, Make sure the elbow is locked out nice and tight. Cool? All right, next one. Right arm, right leg, coming up. Support yourself with your other, uh, other arm. Now, I'm gonna bring the hip up. This is what we call a tripod position. Very important, keep that nice and still. You're looking straight out into the ceiling. Bring your other knee through. Oh yeah. Now, we're getting up to a partial lunge. Still looking up, still looking up, Gabe. Yes. Now we we'll stand up. Stand up is two steps. One, two, okay. Now this half of a wrap on the way down, same thing. Back down to the lunge. Lean over to the side, into the tripod position. Straight arm still, leg through. Coming down to the elbow first. Back down, now with the other hand, bring in there, and bring it down, back down to your chest. And then, depending on which side you're going for, <coughs> you can uh, repeat that movement again. Questions? No? Nice and easy, right? That's probably the, one of the uh, most complicated movements there is. Um, so, if you're at home, you want to practice, make sure you have lots of space. And um, you know, if you have a trainer or friend, uh, they, they can sort of watch your form for you as well. All right, let's go, go to our next movement. Next movement, we've got burpees. Who here knows how to do burpees? I do, I do. I'm from that gym, wherever. That's how we do burpees. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's not how you do burpees. All right, yeah. without burpees, chest touching the floor. So. We're gonna go hands down first, legs out, chest to the ground, bring your feet together, big, big clap on to top, okay? Yeah? Big clap. Now, if you have issues with your lower back or your knees, we're gonna go down, and then walk your feet forward, 
and then come up again. You don't need to jump, okay? So if you have issues with your knees or with your hip, you can still do that one. Right, uh, moving uh, right, right on next to the, to the next movement, we've got dumbbell squat. With the dumbbell squat, we can hold it in the front, we can hold it horizontally, it's up to you. Once you get a dumbbell up, elbows forward, so again, it's gonna show us how it's done without the dumbbell. Keep our core tight, rip cage down, squatting down, and up, squatting down. So good for your glutes, so good for your butt, legs, all that good stuff. Next one, we've got 12 dumbbell bent roll. So, the way I like to do it, we have um, our um, supporting leg in front, supporting arm in front, keep our back flat, like tabletop position. The weight, once you bring it up, it doesn't, it doesn't go back onto the ground, okay? So from there, We'll bring it right up to our, to our chest, looking down, looking up, up to you. Oh yeah, you can have no dumbbells, no kettlebells. You can kind of squeeze at the top, squeeze at the top. So that shoulder blade is getting a nice contraction in the back. And you know, it will be really good for your posture, nice. See those arms, bring it up a little bit higher. Yes, and your back flat. Cool. Those are the four movements. Four Turkish get ups, eight burpees, 10 goblet squats, and 12 bent rows on each arm. Okay? Um, so we'll do that as many rounds, as many reps as you can in 30 minutes. Now, the goal today is to get about seven, seven to eight rounds. Seven to eight rounds or more if you are really advanced. Uh, if you're just starting out training, it's all good, you know, five, six rounds uh, should get you a pretty decent workout. Cool. Strong plus workout, the core segment. Are we ready? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> six pack, right? <laughs> all right, guys, we're gonna get to our, our core workout today. There's a few different movements. We're gonna do them uh, a minute, uh, each movement. Okay, you can repeat that two or three rounds if you like. Uh, let's start with the first one. So Gabe here is going to show us how to do uh, the seated half circle on the left. Go. Circle, circle, just like that. Circle, circle, just like that. Now, if you can see, Gabe has his uh, legs slightly bent. Uh, more advanced, if you are uh, advanced, a hey, uh, uh, Person, you can have your legs uh, completely straight now. Okay. All right, let's go on to our next one. It's the, uh, so we did the left circle, now we're going to the right circle. Okay, right circle, right circle. Now, if you're over five years of age, you should know what left and right is, and uh, yeah, this movement you should feel nice and deep in the uh, lower abdominal region. All right, see how. Uh, Face. It's gonna tell you that it's not a not a easy exercise. All right, next one. All right, next one. We got drunken mountain climbers. You need to have a drink of vodka. All right, and uh, here we go. He's gonna show us how it's done. Drunken mountain climbers. Boom. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Always going to the opposing uh, elbow with your knee. Just like that. Okay. Now. Uh, Gabe here has got a slight uh, uh, issue with his wrist, so if you don't have any issue with, the, with your wrist, you can also do it on, um, on your hands. Okay, so left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then, we we'll go have some kombucha, shall we? <laughs> so we'll do that for 60 seconds and then up and down planks for 60 seconds. Down to the elbow, up to our hands, down to the elbow, up to our hands. Very important, do not sag the lower back. The low back area, do not sag it. If you want to test yourself, you can put a, um, a piece of like weight plate on your back. So if it starts to fall off, then yeah, you know, sliding. All right, next one, next one, next one. We've got scissors for 60 seconds. If you like Rocky Balboa, 
Same thing with this one, legs complete straight if you can. Alright, come uh, move on to the next one. We've got starfish crunches. So you lie on your back, legs up, arms out, just like a starfish. And when you come up, you will reach towards the opposing pose. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Boom! Starfish, starfish. You so great. Starfish, starfish. You fly so high. Alright. How do you feel? You alright? Cool. The Russian beta twist. B. Oh, if you're not in like advanced, you can keep your feet grounded, your knees nice and big. Yeah. And then all you're doing when you're coming up, you bring the opposite leg up. And you went opposite way. Come on. Wow. Oh, so the killer. Woo. Cool. So. Alright, team. Oh, hold on. Uh, a special lesson, bonus lesson for today, okay? When you speak to someone, you gotta have your arms down like this. When we uh, have, our, have our arms crossed like this, it's what we call a defensive body language. Um, if you go for job interviews, if you go for any sort of like new meetings, dates, or whatever, you do this, people will get turned off. Anyway, let's get back into a uh, Sweat Daddy channel. So, hopefully, you enjoyed today's workout. Uh, it's a nice, strong, uh, 30 minutes MRAP and uh, the core workout was a blast, eh? Oh, that was a killer. It was a killer. Core killer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely a core killer right here. Alright, so remember if you have any questions, always comment down below and uh, you know ask us anything that you want to know about okay, whether he's single or not, you know, where he how does he get his uh, eight pack abs or anything like that, okay? Um, please subscribe, share our channel, we're a new uh, it's a new beginning for, uh, for a new era, um, and uh, yeah, if you like us, we'll like you back, okay? Enjoy today's workout, and have a sweaty one. Catch Boom. you on the next one. <laughs>